Christians emphasize over and over again that going to heaven is just a matter of believing in God, the right God. It's not about doing good works to earn your way to heaven. That's what separates Christianity from every other world religion, right? But oftentimes, Christians themselves don't seem to be separated from every other world religion. So many Christians break their backs trying to do so much good in the world that they burn out. They try to be perfectionists. Some people even try so hard and get so little out of it that they end up leaving Christianity altogether. I'm going to show you why that is not only not what the Bible says, it's actually exactly backwards. I'm not, however, going to be talking about how you go to heaven. The Bible is very clear that salvation doesn't come from works. Christians aren't Boy Scouts earning their patches on their uniforms. Good works are what you do after you become a Christian, and you do them out of the joy God gives to you. In Matthew 11, Jesus is talking to a bunch of Jews about many different things, including his relationship to God the Father. But at the end he says this, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Most people think this passage is talking about how we don't have to earn our way to heaven, and that's true. The way to heaven is simple. It's just believing in Jesus. Therefore, the burden is light. But there's also another part no one ever seems to mention, and it really blew my mind when it was explained to me. An ox pulling a cart is pretty easy to picture. A big, strong animal pulling lots of weight. But the thing is, as long as the cart needs to be moved, the ox never gets to rest. He's always moving. That's what a yoke is for. A yoke is a piece of wood that joins two oxen together so they can share the load. Instead of pulling all the weight, the first ox now splits that work with another. But what happens when one ox lags a little behind? The ox in front takes all the weight on its shoulders. Here's the thing. The ox in front is Jesus, and the ox in the back is us. Jesus' yoke is easy because he's pulling all the weight. This doesn't just apply to salvation. It's in everything we do. We don't have to be the ox pulling all the weight and handling all the burden. In fact, we're told not to be. Jesus handles it. We get to rest. That's why his yoke is easy. We don't have to pull any weight. All we have to do is walk.